Oh god, the IPC's here again. Three genius society members at the same time? Hi, Albert! I knew this interview was a bad idea. Mr. Screwlem. Member 76, sophisticated mechanical aristocrat. I heard they upgraded Screwlem's ass to a five star. Not to mention, the savior of inorganic life throughout the universe. Yeah. He's as sharp as they come. Yeah. He recognized my brilliance at in an instant. Now, if I can just get him to recommend me. And his astonishing wisdom in the field of broadcasting has been oh my God. recognized by Noose themself. Okay. Ergo, the Genius Society hereby confers upon Mr. The Albert Ergo the title of member 85. Am I crazy? Member 81, Ron May. Oh my God. Oh, she seemed like a kind and elegant person in the simulated universe. Oh my God. A little distant though, but what if I ask a bad question? She's so fine. <laughs> Since when does Albert ask bad questions? What a f her This back. little bird has an active imagination. Ugh. Quit daydreaming! <laughs> The program is about to start! What are you waiting for? A trailer or something? Oh, uh, Albert, you're so cute. Herda's always nice, but whenever she's here, there's... Wait, what the f*** is this? There's always an endgame update whenever uh, Herda's involved. What the hell is this? Are we getting pets? But are we getting pets? Class one, clearance zone. Permission status. Madam Monday. There's much you don't know about the space station. Oh my god. Wait, are we getting are we getting it's pets or no? Am I getting baited? Until you ascertain the situation. God, she's it's so nice. fine. You'll be full of weaknesses that others can see through. Okay. A genius move. And how will you counter it? What the hell is up with his face? Oh, okay, they fixed it, thank God. A portrait of internal turmoil. I'm not, I'm not excited for what Twitter's gonna do with this guy's, uh, this guy's image. I'm not crazy about Dr. Ratio, I'm gonna keep it 100%. Only the wounded savior can bathe the world in the firelight of destruction. But are we gonna do main story quest too? No way, right? Annihilation will find you. Oh shit, that looks uh, crazy. Look nice. How ostentatious. God, your fingers look gross. God damn, that's a woman. Bro, why did you that's what I was about to say. Write this shit down. Write this shit down. A hundred free jades already. Ooh, and whether or not your world has a day-night cycle. Good morning, good afternoon, morning. and good evening. And if you didn't know already, I'm Albert, your favorite feathered announcer. Welcome to the version 1.6 crown of the mundane and divine special program. On today's program, we're bringing together three intellectual heavyweights yep. from none other than the yep. Genius Society. Oh, yep. Why don't you introduce yourselves? Madam Herda, care to kick us off? Yeah, whatever. Herda here. <clears throat> Madam Herda, like we said, uh, remember? Enthusiasm. <laughs> Seriously? Fine. Hello, I'm Herda. <laughs> Is that AI? Well, we're talking. <clears throat> And uh, let's not forget the new face Am of the Am I crazy? Madam Ron May! Hello, dear viewers. I'm Ron May. I suppose that makes it my turn. Greetings, Gosh, viewers. So I am Screwlem. It's a pleasure to meet you. Oh, the pleasure is all ours. Screwlem won me over immediately with that cute little emoji. <laughs> I guess the great news I like that shit a lot. finally recognize my potential. Yeah. <laughs> Don't get ahead of yourself. That's this so is a cute. Space That's station actually visit. so cute. But for you, we had oh, time for a show. Shit. Or to put it another way, participating in your program was a way of maximizing the utility of our itinerary. <laughs> Two birds, one stone. You can't use the same emote <laughs> that many times hey, over again, man. You 
uh, anyhow, Bro is we chat. saw from the trailer that the story is making a return to Herta Space Station. Good. Intelligence available for release in the case the following. Madame Ron May has commandeered one of the space station zones for biological science experiments. Okay. I like to avoid attracting too much attention with my experiments, and the station had a sealed off area available. Herta was kind enough to lend it to me. Big God, enough her to spread voice across is so three fun. levels. This that area is, insane. is a brand new domain waiting for us in version 1.6. Welcome to Herta Space Station Seclusion Zone. Cool. Due to the secrecy surrounding this zone, that is so there's freaky. currently not a soul to be found across the whole domain. Rebuttal. Your assertion excludes the existence of inorganic life operating in the area. Robots. Uh, naturally, as I was saying, the story is set to unfold in this new domain. Wait, so you still need the seclusion zone, Ronmei? I do. My research has encountered a few Screw them, stop anomalies. fucking farming. I was hoping the trailblazer could do me a small favor. Uh, favor? Small? Yeah, I'm not sure about the second one. Yeah. But this is a golden age for biological science. No problem too big or too small, all right? And version 1.6's brand new Trailblaze continuance, crown of the mundane and divine. Trailblazers will encounter Madame Ron May for the first time. Fuck They'll yeah. need to work closely with her to solve the headaches of her to space station. Hell yeah. For example? <laughs> One such headache is the result of the little life forms that Ron May has been cultivating. I'm afraid that's the nature of biological science. Surprises and accidents in equal measure. Not yeah, to what mention, she said. the space station is hiding more secrets than you might have thought. Various crises bubbling to the surface, heard his puppet falling prey to an ambush, and a new provocation that the geniuses must face up to. <sighs> Nothing a small favor can't fix, right? We got the three geniuses here. <laughs> what could go wrong? In Mr. Albert's previous broadcasts, the adoption of a light-hearted tone usually indicates the presence of a formidable show challenge. What the, show what the version's gonna be. <laughs> My beak is sealed. This is a top-secret experiment. We've waffled Trust enough. Me, when I say that the adventure ahead is a journey into both the power and wonder of biological science. Okay, show And it. what better way to prepare our trailblazers than by introducing the one and only Madam Ron May? Oh my god. She looks so f good. I don't know what instrument that is. That shit is beautiful. God damn. It's <laughs> actually so f nice. Madame Ron May is an ice Damn. type character following the path of harmony and member 81 of the Genius Society. See, From they the very need beginning, to get an EXE her artist. research has focused on biological science. They need to get That's an EXE right. artist to biological uh, science do their is trailers a boundless form. field. I rarely have time for leisure. She's and harmony, so she's gonna be broken as shit for sure. Universe, I, I don't know what she does point. though. Madame Ron May. I was curious. Is there a story behind your name? My name? My parents organized themselves into a flat hierarchical structure. My name is simply the combination of their surnames. Fascinating! What a spellbinding tradition. I believe you may be laying it on a little thick, Mr. Albert. Are you hoping for something in return? Uh, Stop. Who wouldn't hope for a blessing from It Madame is crazy Ron how May. their characters are, or their characters' names <laughs> are very disagree with me. Then let and me calling a character Dasha Ratio as a play on words, the same way as ruined me. Meaning, it's it's Aren't gotta be. To be intelligent? It can't You're be telling? accidental, right? Many individuals have a hidden side. Ergo, it has to be ruined me, right? It has Ron to be. May, may hold surprises. Spoiler at 12 o'clock. I think it's time we took a look at what this elegant scholar can do on the battlefield. Yeah. Don't you? My basic attack, 
Threading Fragrance deals ice damage to a single target. Okay. While my skill, yeah, we really needed more ice damage. Slow swirls can increase the weakness break efficiency of all allies. That's really fucking There's good. There's also my ultimate, Petals to Stream, Repose and Dream, which creates a field. Only the most beautiful field I've ever seen. That does what? <laughs> a work of art, madam. Within is... the field, allies experience an all-type resistance penetration increase. And when breaking an enemy's weakness, they afflict them with a mark. This mark is triggered on the enemy's next action, prolonging their weakness break state, delaying their action, and inflicting them with additional ice damage. Oh, that's ridiculous. Not for exploiting an enemy's weakness, Ron May. <laughs> I'll say, and we didn't even mention her technique, Silken Serenade, which allows so, the team so to it automatically it trigger an equivalent to her skill at the start of the next battle. In the simulated universe, when Ron May possesses Silken Serenade, and when an ally attacks a simulated universe enemy, the battle is entered as if the enemy's so weakness was attacked. So that's gonna be really good for dot types comps, no? And can deplete the toughness of all enemies. Breaking a weakness can trigger the weakness break effect that corresponds to the attacker's own type. Not only that, in the Holy simulated shit. universe, for every one may plus possess, well equals the infinite toughness stagger? reducing damage of the yeah. current attack is increased. <laughs> They're just and never gonna go. damage is dealt. Well, very good. What Sounds to the me like fuck? you have an interest in testing the simulated universe. After Trailblazers That's get to know Ron May, another scholar with connections to the Gene Society will be appearing in this Trailblaze Continuance. Oh, I assume you're referring to the gentleman with the alabaster head? Classic Mr. Scrollum. <laughs> Able to see the gentleman behind the mask. <laughs> gentleman, my foot! <sighs> Herta, you're being a little harsh. Sounds like you two are well acquainted. <laughs> Without further ado, allow me to introduce her. We, we still don't know the full extent of her character because they didn't show her talents. Okay, Loki, he's growing on me. Loki, he is, he, he is growing on me. That move is so cool. Oh god, it actually is so cool, bro. It is such a cool move. Veritas Ratio, or Dr. Ratio as he's known, is an imaginary type character what the following fuck they the say path his name of the was? hunt. He belongs to a different noose worshipping organization, the Intelligentsia Guild. Which is why I can't stand the sight of him. The Genius Society consists of vanguards <laughs> from various so cool. fields who act in isolation. So too, man. In contrast, the Intelligentsia oh, Guild shit. advocates for the dissemination of knowledge, allowing for a broad church of followers of Noose who work towards furthering shit, this he's end. So cool. Question. Does the current universe derive greater benefit from the unparalleled talents of the Genius Society or the mutual learnings of the Intelligentsia Guild? Why are you talking like that, boy? You sure? You want to go there? <laughs> Let's not. <laughs> Is that why Dr. Ratio joined the Intelligentsia Guild? A devotion to science? A desire to share scientific knowledge? Exactly! Dr. Ratio presides over a total of 52 academic programs. Huh. And yells at people until they burst into tears? Ooh, strict teachers no, make No, he for wouldn't good do that. Student. He's too sexy. And any student who makes it to the end of a program will be an expert scholar in their respective field. And an emotional wreck. Huh. Ignorance is an ailment, the expungement of which only our Dr. Ratio can achieve, and which entails necessary hardship. By which you mean the destruction of any and all self-esteem. <laughs> you think this His is just a whole ploy? Do you think, do you think there's a whole ploy just to uh, step into the future? Get Twitter engagement higher. I feel like we might accidentally be discussing. Perhaps I should intervene. Dr. Ratio's desire to cure ignorance it with truth is well known. It's time for us to assess his prowess on the battlefield. During his basic attack, Mind yeah. is Might, Dr. Ratio brandishes his codex, dealing imaginary damage to a single target. Question, why does he carry a codex with him? Well, intellectuals enjoy persuading others with quotes. I think Dr. Ratio takes that to mean hitting people with them directly. 
Dr. Ratio's skill, intellectual midwifery, deals imaginary damage to a single intellectual target. Intellectual midwifery? While it's talent, ergo sum may trigger what him the f is it? What is that graphic on top skill. of him? As a rigorous academic researcher, Dr. Ratio pays close attention to his enemy's debuffs Is he a follow-up attacker? The more debuffs the enemy has, the higher the chance of him launching a follow-up attack. And let's oh, not that's forget so his cool. ultimate three-step paradox. The good doctor summons a leaning tower and through a series of precise calculations and measurements, plus a trajectory of maximum pain. The target enemy suffers imaginary damage and is afflicted with wise man's folly. When a target with wise man's folly is attacked by an ally of Dr. Ratio, he launches his talent's follow-up attack against the target. And when using his technique, more by idolatry, so Dr. Ratio creates a dimension and taunts nearby enemies. <laughs> when attacking so an enemy good. within the dimension to enter battle, there's a chance of reducing the target's speed. It would appear those five statues are made in his own image. Ergo, Dr. Ratio suffers from a certain degree of narcissism. Good! To, to put it mildly. Good! <laughs> <laughs> also in version 1.6, He just likes me, bro. Trailblazers will finally be running into an old friend. The yeah. other two siblings, very different from the other. Who? Yet bound to were all the same. <laughs> it's Hanya's elder sister, Shwayi! Hanya's older sister? Oh, this chick. How the fuck she the older sister? Oh, wait, we're getting her! Yo, please be on the Ruan May banner for, for once. Oh my god, she looks so good. Dude, the chains go insane. They go insane. Shui Yi is a quantum type character following the path of destruction, whose original body was replaced long ago. God, she looks so sick. System. The system was constructed for Shui Yi on behalf of the Ten Lords Commission. The commission agreed that for every culprit Shui apprehended, she would be rewarded with a half day's wake span. Hmm. A reasonable arrangement. Better than my one. <clears throat> like her sister Oh, she's Shui Yi is a formidable presence on the battlefield. Shui Yi's basic attack, Mara Sunder. I wonder if she'll unironically be better than Zila. Her skill, iniquity obliteration, Bro, her can do quantum damage insane. to a single target and adjacent enemies. And as a judge of the Ten Lords Commission, Shui Yi's talent is a little out of the ordinary. When Shui Yi and an ally deal damage to an enemy's oh toughness, my stats God. of karma are accumulated. Hmm. So she's good at trying criminals? <laughs> the best! Oh my when God! When stacks to the upper limit, Shui Yi immediately launches a follow-up <laughs> attack so on the target cool. enemy, dealing quantum damage. Her ultimate and divine investigation can deal quantum damage to a single target and toughness depletion that ignores weakness types. The more toughness depleted, the greater the damage. Breaking weaknesses irrespective of type. Holy fuck! These Sienjo natives are cold blooded. Jesus! When Shui uses her technique, summary execution, to attack an enemy and enter battle, she deals quantum damage to all enemies. Mm. Mm. Bro, that uh, looks yes, insane. <laughs> it's time. We talked about version 1.6's banners. Thank During God. The first phase of version 1.6. Let's go! Event warps, flow, trip She's on the Ruan May banner! Soul. Trailblazers can obtain the limited... She's on the fucking Ruan May banner, dad! ...and Blade, respectively. Oh, mention, shit! The four-star character, Shui Yi, will be joining version 1.6's first phase. Thank fucking God! Warp. It's banner, okay, guy. that banner no. is During insane. The phase of version hey, 1.6 is hey. a character event warps. Give fuck. I told you. Dora. I told you she's going to be on Raw Bay. The limited five-star character. Hey, have fun Dr. rolling on that Ratio shit ass banner. Kafka, respectively. <laughs> I wonder Hey, when sorry Kafka. Ain't nobody return. rolling on that shit. Oh, I'll be glad to see the back of her. Yeah, we're we're hitting, we're hitting that better with the L plus skip. At one point six is first phase light cone event warp. The drop rate of the five star light cone, my past self in the mirror, will be. What the name of Y Tech and Gay the Sex? Is that? This light cone event warp. The drop rate of the five star light cone, the unreachable side, will also be boosted. Version one point six is second phase. What the also fuck? See the five star light cone, the baptism of pure <laughs> thought, entering fuck? the light cone event warp. <laughs> what the fuck? Is that Bathing like, oh, relaxes bro. both the body and Jesus. the mind. Follow the stream. Benefit to our consideration of both the universe and philosophy. Yeah. <laughs> Check out the yellow ducky. 
And finally, in the oh aforementioned bygone reminiscence light cone event warp, the drop rate of the five star light cone, that. patience is all you need, will also be boosted. I might get it. Woo! I might. Light cones, it's been a pleasure. I think it's time for some mental recuperation. Stay tuned for more updates. Yep. Bro. We got so lucky with the four stars on that banner. The Ting Yun, the Ting Yun uh, Eidolons. Bro, the Zhui Yi. We're going to build them both, too. We're going to build them both. Zhui Yi is way too cool not to use. Bro, we lucked the f*** out. Our E6 Mar March 7th is going to go crazy. <laughs> Bro, write this shit down. I'm so f happy. So far, off to a very huge dub. Uh, I'm, I'm excited to see what the uh, the actual event systems and the late game systems are. So far, pretty good. So far, pretty good. I am before you don't get a single sway. You got me. You know what crazy is? I'm probably going to pull one temple, get raided May, and then call it a day. You can clip this. It will age amazingly. I will do one temple, get Ruan May, and Welcome I'll be back, done. Trailblazers. Now that we've introduced our new characters, it's time to delve deeper into version 1.6. Yeah. First up, something that's about Ruan to make May. a big splash on the space station. Yeah. What in the f is that Mecha Blue Gundam? <laughs> Where we're what in the f that bro what I can see how that would make a big splash. Do I recall someone mentioning accidents on the space station? In the it's process spirit of global bombs you? Madame Ron May did encounter a Goku an anomaly, an anomaly in the form of a Swarm King prototype and fierce Swarm Disaster entity, Star Crusher, Swarm King Scarakabaz. Yeah. Thanks to an incident during the experiment, this borehole planet's old crater came into being, and it looks like a lively one. Yeah. There's that light-hearted tone again. Ergo, we're screwed. <laughs> Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice. Yeah. I kick your butt. That's right. <laughs> Don't panic. Madame Ron May yep. has shared with us one of her research papers. <clears throat> Star Crusher Swarm King Scarakabaz. Analysis of asexual propagation performance induced by specific Asexual propaganda? <laughs> Let's start with the abstract and keywords, shall we? <laughs> Ugh, get to the point! What? <laughs> Leave it to me. Star Crusher Swarm King Scarakabaz possesses hard. immense propagative capabilities. When in its multiply state, the Swarm King produces more of its own kind with every attack it sustains. Wait, every attack? So the Swarm just keeps multiplying the more we fight it? That's awful. As somebody's getting fired. However, this multiply state is also when the Swarm King is most vulnerable. God Breaking damn, that break was insane. Can cause it to explode. That's right. As Bro just the normal attacked with Jiggly. Maintain your focus on the Swarm King's toughness. Am I crazy? Uh, the weakness break just right, and Star Crusher Swarm King Scarakabaz can be defeated. Furthermore, after completing the 1.6 Trailblaze yeah. Continuous mission, yeah. Echo of War, Borehole Planet's old crater, will yeah. become available. Complete this challenge to obtain the advanced trace level up material. Nice. Past evils of the Borehole Planet disaster. Are all biological entities in this location Sick. characterized by aggression? Affirmation, new weekly, baby. It is reasonable to conduct such experiments. Was the last new one the big titty chick? Area. They're not. It's They're been a minute. Sweet and lovable characters, too. In a bid to boost the space station's research developments, Trailblazers have been assigned an important mission. Oh my god. Nurture and care for the newly arrived little life forms. <laughs> I'm oh counting on you, friends. There won't be any accidents or anomalies this time, right? <laughs> Do we get to have one as a permanent the pet? Door where these little guys are. In the critter pick scavenging event, trailblazers can choose their nurturing goals according to the nurturing manual. And do we get to keep they can learn cultivation specifics and successfully raise a variety of delightful little creatures? Seeing these little critters explore and frolic through the cabin is enough to put a smile on the face of 
every trailblazer. And do we get to keep them? It results in gratifying emotional and physical responses. Conclusion, a profoundly ingenious construct. Aside from the normal varieties, the cultivation process might even result in mutations and special bro, breeds. Bro, they're so cute, bro. And just between us, during the event, trailblazers have the chance to transform into and experience what it's like to be peppy. Hmm, interesting. What the Maybe fuck? Maybe I should add a transformation feature to the simulated universe. Speaking you of the should. simulated universe, this update is a real game changer with yeah. significant new features. Yeah. Version 1.6 will add another fresh update to the simulated universe with brand new DLC. Please Gold make it not annoying. Gears. <laughs> Ron May played a major role in this update. Indeed. In simulated universe Golden Gears, Ron May has developed a simulated noose and frozen space time just before the demise. A simulated of noose so you can kill yourself with Emperor it. Emperor Rupert. Emperor Rupert was <laughs> a computer that became self aware and subsequently <laughs> drew Noose's gaze, becoming the 27th member of the Genius Society. Shit. It proclaimed itself Emperor and initiated the widely known Machine Empire Crisis, the First Emperor's War. The war serves as an excellent historical source for eonic research. This latest update adds the path of erudition and daringly experiments with separating dice Shit. from The dice come with six slots for equipping various dice face effects. Oh, By what? collecting Trailblaze secrets, you can unlock even more dice face effects. As Trailblazers delve oh, deeper into the challenge, shit. they can acquire more powerful dice faces and unlock new ways to play. Trailblazers can swap out the faces on their dice, combining effects from multiple paths to create unprecedented, powerful buff combinations. Oh, that's so For example, sick. when using Kafka, even if the initial path selected is the Dihility, yeah. you can create diverse effects by strategically combining different dice faces. You could assemble a Sick. die that allows you to leap over tiles, or one that yields higher rewards in battles, or one that incorporates both effects. Clear Why would you not just want to pick voila. both? Neural impulse is all yours. Use it to unlock different talents and increase your combat gains. Oh, f yeah, baby. It mirrors the ability tree found in the simulated universe. Get ready for a thrilling addition to version 1.6 of the simulated universe. It's going to be the over to just fuck until you form all that. When moving across the simulated That's universe, built to whoop your board, ass. consciousness changes may be triggered, leading to diverse story paths. Trailblazers can compile all the storylines through continuous gameplay, ultimately unlocking the enigmatic secrets of the eons. Jesus! Your blessings! A new simulated universe to explore. Trailblazers, I'll be waiting for you at the usual spot. Sick! The major updates in the simulated universe is time to talk about a special invite. In version 1.6, Trailblazers will receive an invitation from the Department of Ecology to participate in a special test. Okay. The Department of Ecology? <laughs> What's the mission this time? This test involves battling illusionary enemies that are conjured through scent triggers. Each distinct scent plugin yields different test outcomes. Uh -huh. Trailblazers will start with the basic test and subsequently unlock despair mode. <laughs> what despair? the f is that? I hear trailblazers are seasoned trash can explorers. I'm sure their noses can handle it. God, please spit on me. <laughs> Don't be so sure. The difficulty curve isn't for the fate of <laughs> what heart. Is which is despair why we mode. To remind all trailblazers that the illusions created by these scents differ from regular enemies. Make sure you're well prepared before engaging in battle. Example: Deploy distinct scent plugins before commencing the simulated trial. Yeah. To obtain varied bonuses in battle. That's yeah. right. Immerse yourself in your favorite scent, say oh cedar my wood, God. and you might just encounter some familiar friends. What's this? A garlic-flavored abundant ebon deer? <laughs> that sounds delicious. I snap out of it. Need I remind everyone? <laughs> the sense may be tempting, but it's crucial to exercise self-control. Version 1.6 will also see the return of the planar fisher and realm of the strange events. Good. During these events, successfully challenging the simulated universe and cavern of corrosion will yield double rewards Good. for a set number of times. Good. Conclusion. We need that shit. 
Relaxation and fun await. Hey, boys, mm, boys. That's yet. double the garbage. <laughs> Remember Mr. CN from the CN Joe Love food? That's big. He recently acquired a talking parrot called Yotsa that can blur truth Show me the with pole. falsehood. <laughs> it's you. What is it? pure fiction? What? I heard pure fiction was Slank. fucking crazy. <laughs> As I was saying, yeah. Trailblazers can strike up a conversation with Mr. Cien and his talking parrot to experience the brand new permanent challenge mode, Pure Fiction. Permanent? Permanent challenge? You mean like the Forgotten Hall? Not exactly. In Pure Fiction, defeating an enemy will cause it to respawn immediately, and Trailblazers earn points every time they deal damage to or defeat Say! an enemy. At the end of each battle, the highest score achieved in that challenge will be recorded. Trailblazers need to defeat as many enemies as possible within a limited number of cycles to rack up a high score. Oh, Each phase fuck of yeah, Pure Fiction baby. comes with its own set of buff effects for Trailblazers to choose from, which allows for team composition and experimentation so to maximize points. This is gonna be so much fun. indicates that high scores hinge on the right cure. Conclusion. Consider the nature of enemies and available buff effects when selecting your formation and battle strategy. Yeah, what he said. Goodness said it better myself. A quick update, folks. In each phase of pure fiction, that helps erudition you have its own place a lot. A whopping 720 stellar jades. And guess what? Completing specific stages for the first time will earn you the four star character links. Okay, what? that's you. 720 stellar jades? Ah, <laughs> you heard it here first. Adventure 1.6 Forgotten Hall, Memory of Chaos, is set to expand with stages 11 and 12. What the a three -star fuck? Victory in these new stages. Level 90, dude! 120 stellar jades. Combine that with the first 10 stages. Hey, we're fucked, out. boys. A grand total <laughs> of 720 fucked. stellar jades. Trailblazers who complete these two permanent challenge modes can also earn a new currency, which they can exchange for items like mm, self-modeling resin in the newly added shop. Sounds what? Good. But are Trailblazers seriously expected to take on more permanent challenges each time there's a new version? Yes. That's going to eat into our simulated universe testing time, you know. <laughs> Hold your horses, Madam Herda. Shut the these two permanent game modes will be seeing changes of their free in the so modulated resident every From version reset? 1.6 onwards forgotten hall memory of chaos and pure fiction will be updated in rotation every memory of chaos update will be followed two weeks later by a pure fiction event subsequently two weeks after that a new memory of chaos will start in which case, each version contains three such updates, meaning that Trailblazers can obtain a maximum that is of 2,160 so stellar jades across the Forgotten Hall and Pure Fiction events. In addition, the availability of each Holy phase of Memory of shit. Chaos will be extended from two weeks to six weeks. This means that when a new phase of Memory of Chaos starts, the previous phase will still be available. The same How the fuck is also does that even true work? of Pure Fiction. Ergo. Trailblazers will have more time to plan their character leveling and to experience challenge gameplay. Wait, do I need a Jiggy <laughs> Water or Genti now? I almost forgot about another significant new feature in version 1.6. Get ready for the Forgotten Hall auto clear function. After the 1.6 update, Trailblazers can directly challenge the highest memory of chaos stage they previously cleared with three stars. Thank God. Achieving a three-star victory, they instantly receive all rewards from the preceding stages. Just heads up that stage seven is currently the <laughs> highest stage so that Trailblazers can game. start their challenge. It's ridiculous. In other words, as long as I've achieved a three-star victory in stage seven, and I attain the same victory in any given Forgotten Hall Memory of Chaos update, I can get my hands on rewards for the previous six stages? Precisely. That's Another Trailblazer time shame. saver, it would seem. That's not all. The 1.6 update will further improve the user friendliness of the team set up in the Forgotten Hall. As Trailblazers progress through stages in Forgotten Hall, Memory of Chaos, the team set up the previous Pong stage quick. will be carried over Chats by the quick. Plus, with the new team setup switching and one-click clear functions, lineups can be adjusted. Put put free 1,000 full pong. It seems that optimizing Trailblazer experience is a firm priority. 
<laughs> Absolutely. And guess what else? Version 1.6 will also ease the completion difficulty <laughs> of daily training, allowing trailblazers Thanks. to claim rewards with less effort. Additionally, we've introduced a time-limited unlock feature for certain material stages. This might oh require further explanation. Simply put, even if trailblazers haven't explored the latest maps, they can still challenge certain material stages to gather leveling materials for their characters. That's amazing. Oh. And of course, where would 1.6 hey! be without the ever-exciting check-in event? Wonderful! Participating in the Gift of Odyssey event allows she... trailblazers to get their hands on 10 warps. <laughs> I think the trailblazers she... are looking forward to this one. Hmm. Indubitably. Hey, we eat good, boys. All righty. We eat good. <laughs> it's that time already, folks. A big shout out to all our Trailblazers for their incredible love and support. Yo. Honkai Star Rail recently garnered incredible awards and nominations. That's right. On behalf of the project team, I, Albert, would like to extend our gratitude. Pardon the interruption. Oh, he's so cool. You are now speaking with Veritas Ratio. His voice huh? is so it sick. It has come to my attention that your broadcast today touched on certain warp arrangements yep. in connection with myself. If I may be so bold, the yep. current arrangements are pitiful. Dr. Ratio! The dissemination and sharing of knowledge as well he sounds as so good. is imperative. I, in my esteemed capacity, demand that every trailblazer be given access to a proper education. When version 1.6's Pantaray Event Warp becomes available, every trailblazer who has unlocked the mail feature shall receive, via mail, one limited five-star character Dr. Ratio. What? That is to say, me. Through sheer tyranny of will, what? I shall become ubiquitous. With this, I bid you farewell. Wait, we can just get a free yeah, five-star? There we have it, folks. The esteemed Dr. Ratio. <laughs> so, what the I fuck? I covered all the content for version 1.6. Thank what the fuck? To our three geniuses for their support. Uh, but we just get them for free. Just yet now, stay tuned for an IPM bonus program. Here comes Sunday. <laughs> what the fuck? I thought it was Friday today. Question: Does the IPC the not fuck? rest at the weekend? Right. That's two full days of simulated universe testing. Trailblazers, oh you know what to do. <sighs> oh, did did that just happen? The weekend, y'all. <laughs> what did we get up for free? Our next special guest. Oh my god. <laughs> what did we just get up for free? <laughs> I can't get over this. Boys, follow the stream. Follow the stream. Follow the stream. We're doing a Ruan May giveaway at the end of this. This is insane. This is insane. Holy, f this is the best game ever. Oh my God. Adesar did it. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome to the family's Charmity Festival Conference. I'm your host. I, I can't believe this. Albert. This I, I, I'm in shock. I'm in shock still. The event is near at hand. In the eyes of the universe, are fixed firmly on the planet of It's the best game. Pentacone. Tonight, we'll be bringing you all the latest on Charmony Festival. First, I'm about to cry. And welcome the organizer of the festival and representative of the family in Pentacone. I love this game. Sunday. Good evening, dear viewers. Who are you? I am Sunday. <laughs> Welcome, good sir. Oh, hey, Your Sunday. Your presence here lights up our humble studio. 
You are too kind, Mr. Owlbert. I can't believe this. If it were not for the IPM's generous invitation, I would not have had this opportunity to introduce your audience to our festival, nor its location. That is to say, Panacone. Panacone is located in the Asdana oh star system. It is a holiday destination of universal repute. I'm so glad I woke up to this. Known to many as the planet of festivities. It's beautiful. Our guests will be staying in the Reverie, a luxurious hotel where one may travel freely between reality and dreamscape, basking in dreams that are uniquely yours. Oh my I'm god. I'm curious. What makes this festival different from the previous ones? Charmony Festival is a Panacone tradition with a long history. And we have built on that foundation to achieve something truly extraordinary. The family on Panacone has, for the first time, issued public invitations to various factions of the cosmos. Oh my god. Welcoming them to partake in our magnificent ceremony. Members of the five great families, which together make up the family on Panacone. Oh my god. As well as staff members of the Reverie, are united in welcoming the universe to our home. I'm so happy. That your sister, the cosmic superstar Miss Robin, is set to perform at the ceremony. You heard correctly. On behalf of the family, oh, she's Robin beautiful. will be singing at the opening of the festival in honor of the Eon Dude, of Harmony. Panacone's characters My sister so has already arrived good. in Panacone, and dress rehearsals are well underway. Oh my god! Our guests are in for quite the show. Miss Robin's participation will undoubtedly make they the ceremony look so good. all the more dazzling. <laughs> Mr. Sunday, would you be able to divulge any details about the festival's preparations? All manner of preparations are unfolding as we speak. Eh. The Reverie's renovation works. Yo, are Farina looking close, different. And so too is its human resources overhaul. Our level of service will be better than ever. Separately. We have introduced performers Who is and service Fly? personnel from the Iris family to Pentaconi's principal scenic areas and leisure facilities. She cute? I'm sure they will help our guests to feel right at home. Wait, Sam? Uh, what is that? Is that his girlfriend? Needless to say, safety is our primary concern. <laughs> oh my so god! the and courageous bloodhound <laughs> will be responsible for security at the festival. He's a security guard. In Penicone's dreams. He looks so and sick. The family promises that Show the safety Satan. of every guest is guaranteed. Show Satan. Of course, yeah. the family is also forgiving. <laughs> Perhaps you are a member of the Annihilation Duke Gang. Inferno. The Stellaron Hunters. If you cherish oh dreams and uphold the my God. Penicone welcomes your arrival. He's so <laughs> cool. Since issuing the invitations, we have received many replies from the various land of organizations fire. throughout the universe. Today will be the first time we are publishing the guest list. Oh my god. All in the service of the preservation, the Amber Lord. Uh, he's an executive from the IPC Strategic Investment Department and a member of the legendary Ten Stone Hearts. Oh, Mr. he's so hot. Adventuring. Explore, understand. Establish and connect. Together, the name is carried for the trailblazing will of Akabili and build bridges between oh the Oh my god. The navigator of the Astral Express, Miss Hemiko, along with the entire crew, will soon be gracing Pentagon She's going to die this update. Their presence. Trading knowledge for wisdom. Hey. Calculating Bye, formulas and transcending it's individual been fun. limitations through an academic network of shared resources. The renowned scholar of the Intelligentsia Guild, hey, Dr. Our hero. Ratio. Our hero. We think, therefore we are. Yeah. And are proof of existence. That's He's our mother boy. And sharing these memories and able to journey beyond the corporeal into the cosmos. Hails from the Garden of Recollection, it's none other than the oh Metal Keeper God. herself. Miss Black Swan. Oh, there's too much. In the uncaring there's expanse too much. of the cosmos, elation exists as a balm for sorrow. Forever resilient, never disheartened, ceaselessly untearful, endlessly present, and here representing the masked fool. Megamine! Sparkle! Following the path Beautiful. of the hunt, 
journeying from one planet to another, upholding justice, eradicating evil, and then doing it all over again. Yep. She's been away from the spotlight for too long. Representing Zilla. the Galaxy <laughs> <Just> Rangers, <laughs> Miss Acheron takes the stage once more. Oh, she's so hot, bro. On behalf of the family, I hereby warmly welcome our guests to participate in this He's so our cool. grand celebration. Penacony awaits you. Oh. My. God. Oh. My. God. Oh. My. God. This is the best update of all all time i have so many thoughts about this update i'm gonna make a follow-up video right now that was the best update in Hongai star rail get hoyo verse history a free five star more end game than you could ever imagine new trailblazer continuance talking about their next update this shit had it all, Genshin could never. And I'm just keeping it on a buck. I'm just telling it how it is. This looks incredible. Hey Genshin, take your free Ayaka and shove it up your ass. L plus Dr. Ratio for Honkai Star Rail. Oh my God, we're actually getting a free five star not even on a standard unit. On a limited time banner, we're getting him for free. We're going to see a record low on the Dr. Ratio banner because we're getting his ass for free. But goddamn, this... It's not even the anniversary. It's not... I almost cried. It's not even the anniversary. We need to go back over this. Make sure if you're here to like, comment, and subscribe. Congrats, Honkai Star Rail community. We never gave up for the best mobile game of the year, of the decade, Honkai Star Rail is eaten good, and that's why it's my favorite gacha game ever made.